Johnson & Johnson is still waiting for emergency use authorization for its one-dose COVID vaccine. The other two vaccines currently available require two shots. You might be wondering why that second shot is necessary and what happens after you get it. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller live in Jenkins Township tonight to explain. Mark. Nick Geisinger Center Point resumed distributing the vaccine today, one day after that storm forced those shots to be postponed. I spoke with the Geisinger Infectious Diseases Specialist about everything you need to know about the double dose. It's been three weeks since Geisinger began administering the Moderna vaccine to members of Pennsylvania's COVID-19 vaccination Phase 1A group. Next week, these individuals will be ready for their second shot. Why a double dose? Some vaccines do require more than one dose, uh, right? Think about things like polio vaccine or measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. They oftentimes require a couple doses to really kind of boost the immune system to sufficient levels. Both Moderna and Pfizer develop their vaccines as a two-shot series, even though that first shot provides benefits. And usually after about 10 or 12 days after that first shot, you start to see some protection creep in uh, from the uh, from that first vaccine. Now, it may not be super high protection, uh, and it certainly may not be long-lived protection. Some estimates indicate more than 50% protection from the first shot, which most people have tolerated quite well. Dr. Martin says that might not be the case when you get the second dose. Their immune system is revving up as a response to the vaccine. And when that happens, you typically don't feel well, right? You may have body aches, you may feel very tired, you may have headaches, you may even have fevers. Dr. Martin says the symptoms are not typically severe and should resolve themselves in 24 to 48 hours. It's something though employers may want to consider if they are making provisions for their staff to get the second shot. And so I think preparing for that uh, makes sense. Now that second Moderna shot can come four weeks after the first. For Pfizer, the booster can be given three weeks later. Meantime, Pennsylvania remains in the phase 1A vaccine group. Head to pahomepage.com to learn what group you're in in order to receive the COVID vaccine. With the Health Beat Live in Jenkins Township, Mark Killer, Eyewitness News.